Alright, hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, today's tutorial, today's tutorial, in today's tutorial, we are going to make a low poly fence. Uh, this should be a fun one, so let's jump right in. Alright, let's start. Go up to your shelf and add a cylinder to the scene. We're going to use this object to make our fence post. First, um, go into your move tool. We're going to move this pivot to the bottom. So hold down D then V, click and drag this down, let go. And then let's move our object onto the ground plane. So hold down X and then click and drag and move this up. All right, let's scale it. And we'll create the profile of the fence post first. So I'm going to go with um, just something maybe a little bit taller. So something like that works for me. Um, now let's lower the subdivisions. So press T on the keyboard and we'll change it to six for the subdivision axis. And for the height, we'll give it, give it four. There we go. Uh, right now, it has a very linear profile. Uh, let's make it a little more interesting. We'll deform it. But first, let's add some splits in the top to make it look a little more like wood. So to do that, we're going to chamfer a couple of these vertices. So go into vertex selection. To do that, we'll hold down the right mouse button to open the component modes. And then we'll choose vertex. And then what I want to do is just select one of these vertices and we're going to hold down shift and the right mouse button and chamfer that vertex. There we go. And then just play with your width. Um, I'm holding down control and shift and dragging this so it doesn't slide too fast. And I'm going to create a width of maybe something like this. And then let's connect uh, these two vertices. So select this vertex, hold down shift, select this one. And then with the same hotkeys, hold down shift and the right mouse button choose connect components and there we go and then i'll just move this down and create a long split for this side all right let's chamfer another vertex i'm going to spin around to this side and then select this vertex and again we'll use those um those hotkeys hold down shift and the right mouse button choose chamfer vertex and then we'll connect these two And I think that works. And this one, I'll just move down a little bit. And there we go. I think that works. And now let's um, go into object mode. So hold down the right mouse button, choose object mode. And we're going to um, deform this and we're going to give it a lattice deformer. So select your object, uh, go to the deform tab, and then down here, choose lattice. And these are the de uh, default lattice um, divisions. So if I open up the channel box, you can see them over here. You can also get to them from the attribute editor through the lattice shape over here. And if we were to drag these sliders or input a number, we can change it, but I'm just going to leave it the way it was. And now how this lattice works is if you hold down the right mouse button, choose lattice point, we can select a point and we can move it a little bit to deform it or a lot if we want. Um, we can grab a group of them and we can scale it, maybe give a taper around the midsection. Um, we can also rotate them, grab a couple points or more, and then you can rotate them as well. Um, what I'm going to do is just move some of these points to um, make the shape a little more interesting, maybe slightly stylized, a little bit organic, right? Um, I think this works for me. Maybe this one in a little bit. Yeah, I think that works. Um, here we go. All right, um, when you're done, what we wanna do is delete that history. So if I open up the outliner, we have a couple lattice objects that if we were to delete now, this object would return to its original shape before we started deforming it with the lattice. So what we wanna do is select the object and delete that history. And now our lattice objects are gone. All right, um, next, let's make a duplicate of this so that we have a fence post for the other side. Um, my X axis is running this way. So if I go into my move tool, um, you can see that the X axis is pointing in this direction. So I'm gonna make a duplicate and move it over here. But something to note is that if you're planning to UV unwrap this, now would be a good time to UV unwrap it if you're planning to use the same fence post uh, on this side as the other side. But for me, I'm just going to make a duplicate. So Control D to duplicate it, 
and I'll move it roughly to about maybe right here and I'll rotate it a bit to make it look a little bit different than this side. All right, and now um, let's create a, um, a board for a fence, so wooden board. So what we'll do is we'll add a cube to the scene and with the cube, I'm just going to move it up, move it out this way a little bit and scale it in as well. And I think that thickness, maybe a little bit thicker. So something like that. All right, and now what we wanna do is maybe um, go into one of the orthographic views and position this and also scale it some more. So tap your spacebar, and we're looking for the front view in my case. So I'm tapping the spacebar again. And then what I'm going to do over here is just move to the, to the center first and then scale it out. All right, I think it looks pretty good right there. Uh, maybe a little bit wider. There we go. Let's go back to our perspective view. And then over here, um, yeah, it should be fine. What, I'm, what I want to do now is give it some divisions and we'll add some splits or chips just like the uh, fence post as well. So press T on the keyboard and then I'm going to give it a few divisions in the width. So maybe make it four. And I think that's totally fine. Um, we'll make this one and we'll duplicate, duplicate it for the bottom in a second. So for now, let's go into vertex selection and we'll select a vertex. I'm going to hold down shift and the right mouse button, chamfer that vertex, play with the width, and then connect those two components. And there we go. Maybe this one over here and this one in a little bit. All right, there we go. And then let's uh, go into object mode. We'll select both, or sorry, all of these objects and we'll go to mesh display and we can either harden edge or do a soften harden. I'm gonna do a soften harden. That'll return it to where it was before. And there we go. Now let's deform this. And before we deform it, let's make a duplicate. So I'm gonna select this, control D to duplicate it, move it down. And with this one, I'm going to rotate it as well. So go into your rotate tool, hold down J on the keyboard, I'm going to rotate it maybe this way and I might even rotate it this way as well. All right, looks fine like that. And then now what I'll do is I will select both of these objects and what we want to do is give it a lattice. So go to the deform tab, choose lattice. Uh, this time we will change the divisions. So open up your attribute editor, go to the lattice shape, and for the horizontal divisions, I'm going to make four, these T divisions. I can see that it's five, so I know it's those ones. And then for the vertical, uh, we have to probably play the slider to find out which one it is, but it looks like it's this one for me. So for this one, I'm going to make four. Uh, so four and four for me. All right, so now let's um, hold down the right mouse button, choose lattice points, and we can start moving some of these ones as well. All right, I think that looks pretty good. And then when we're done, we can select our objects and just delete that history to get rid of that lattice. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it one more lattice. So I'm gonna select everything and go to the deform tab, choose lattice. And with this one, what I'm going to do is um, lower all these down to two and give it one extra in the S division for me. So one more vertical. All right, and then what I'll do is I'll go into my lattice points and bring these down a little bit, make it a little more interesting. All right, I think that works. And then let's uh, select everything. Oh, first go into object mode, um, select your objects, and delete that history. There we go. And then what we'll do now is um, we don't need these faces on the bottom, so let's get rid of these now. Um, so for an object like this that sits on the ground, these faces won't be seen. So I'm gonna go into face mode 
and I'm going to hold down the tab key, do a drag select, and then delete those. And then let's give this a bit of color as well. So let's go into object mode. Um, let's select everything. We'll combine it into one object. There we go. And then let's uh, hold down the right mouse button, choose assign new material, which is going to give it a Lambert. And maybe make it like a brownish color. There we go. I think that works for now. And then let's give this um, a couple of uh, bolts or screws to um, hold these boards in place. So what we'll do is we'll add a cylinder to the scene. And I'll bring it out over here. We'll rotate it. So I'm going to hold down J on the keyboard. Rotate it 90 degrees. 90 degrees, press T on the keyboard, and we'll make it six for the divisions. And we'll scale it down and get it into place. So somewhere over here. Um, just go into the top view, it's a little bit faster. There we go. And I'll scale this down. We also don't need the faces on this side. So I'm gonna go into face mode. And again, I'm going to hold down the tab key, do a drag select, get rid of those. And then just scale these down and bring it into here somewhere. And there you go. We have a low poly fence. All right. And that wraps up another one for us. Hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial. Until next time. This has been Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art.